Because I'll sit here, and if it gets a little chilly in here, I'll wrap up in a blanket. And I know that's a mistake, but as soon as I do, I would... Uh, potatoes all gratin. Dude, you must be loaded in game, oh, not even know. loot. What? <laughs> Such a... Gratin and scallop potatoes? Equally love them. Such a taboo thought to me right now since I'm new and, like, every little bit of copper matters. As I hide um, all courses... <laughs> Yeah, I would hate to say we're a little spoiled, but later on in the game, as you do get higher, you will loot mobs that will drop about four to five platinum apiece, and then they drop really high-level items that you can sell for a couple thousand or you know more platinum yeah. a piece of those. Yeah, and about the time you reach fifty, you'll be starting to get that that scale of gear. Yeah, and and you'll run into the fact that the lower-level creatures they drop like I'll I'll loot some of these so you guys can see like four gold right there and a weapon. Which at at the time that I created my first character on here was amazing. Like I was going to the bank every four seconds to try to bank that so I wouldn't be overweight. And that's another reason I don't loot it is just for the pure fact that when you do, you get over encumbered so quickly, and you stay that way because you want to keep it. But you can't always make it back to the bank, especially over here. There's there's no good race bank that I can go to. Ogak and and the the troll city and stuff like that are nearby. I had to run all the way through the oasis and the rose and all that other stuff to get back to Freeport. Freeport. Yeah. So I, it, it comes down to profit and time and I get more money with my main because I have them, but I, I definitely get what you're saying. It's, it's pretty hard. Oh yeah. Blanket and cold weather after a long day, pretty good sleep. I sleep like a baby when it is cold and especially rainy, which is why I love the rain. I can open the window just to crack, let the, the sound of the rain, let the, the smell of the clean air that is purifying come into the house and lay down and i am i am out for hours it's it's great it's yeah, great you just thinking about it now rain won't get that cold like it does up here uh, any up of here, you in the in the house if i turn my heaters off just down to the pilot lights and it rains and it's cold outside within two hours i'm in here shivering yeah we don't we don't get that really i mean once a year if we're lucky we get a super cold snap that comes in from like a, the Alaska weather that's being pushed all the way down here. And by the time it gets down here, we're about just under freezing, which really is cold. I mean, that's, that's a lot colder than we're used to, but it's, it's not quite what you're talking about where you, everything freezes. Let's see. Uh, Y'all play Hearthstone or any other card games? Any of you guys play card games no, on online? I can't stand card games. The only, with the exception of Uno. For some reason, I like Uno. What about you, Cypher? Nah. I played Magic the Gathering back in the day. I haven't really found any card games online that I'm a huge fan of. There was a game that I reviewed uh, maybe two months ago, maybe a little bit further back. I can't remember the name of it, but I did review a card game. It was kind of interesting. It was almost an RTS. You were controlling your characters. Your actions were cards that you could pick up and, and change, and the enemy had cards that could counter the stuff you put down. So it was almost like you had spells, but you were using it in the form of cards. So it's kind of cool what they're doing with the, the series. And Well, now the card games that we played on tabletop, those are different. I do like those kind of games, the strategy um, games where you actually have to decide what it is that you're going to do. And also some of the more um, uh, fast-paced uh, I like to play. Yeah. But I don't, I don't like investing uh, time and building decks or anything like that. Yeah, that you get so many cards that you already have, like gone. And if you get that many cards, you know everybody else is getting those exact same cards. I liked it. I liked you know having the cards in my hands. I grew up with baseball cards and stuff, so I was a very big fan of that. And with the Magic: The Gathering, I had some of the the best cards at the time, like the Seer Angels that didn't tap and. I still have them. I still have like everything I, I got when I was a kid. I still I put away in boxes, and I always saved all my stuff. I played with all my stuff, though. Is there somebody back here? Uh, Gwent is a mini game turning into a full game from Witcher Three. I did see who was it? it was a Super Bits played Witcher Three, and he did play a mini game on there, and the mini game did look pretty interesting. So that, that probably is what you're talking about. It's looking good. Pretty fun. I think I know which one you're talking about. It was quite a bit of fun. Uh, you're facing another hero, right? 
Yeah, it was it was hero. Yeah, I think it was a hero with like minions that you were fighting against. How about board games or minifigured games like Warhammer? I loved Warhammer. I think I was more into the painting of the the models than I was into the actual playing of the game because at that time I only had two people that I knew. There was a, a games workshop. Um, what's the name? Uh, is it Game Workshop? I think it's the name of the place that has the the stuff for Warhammer, and you can get the paints and everything else there as well. There was uh, two friends that I would go there and play Warhammer with, but our schedules really never lined up too often, so it was very sporadic when I actually got to play. However, being another, you know, not sleeping very much at night, I'd be able to paint the little models, and I could watch videos about how to do the airbrushing and all this, like, really delicate work that I never... My, my skill in that... Is mediocre, and even with all the put all the time I put into it, never really got past it. I'm not really a painter, but I did enjoy the time that I spent there playing that uh, and and doing the models. And I usually did the Chaos Space Marines were, were my favorite. The uh, ne Necro ne oh man, what were the name of Necro Lamacons or something like that? Were pretty cool because they respawn so much. You got just tons and tons the of them. Uh, the Tyranids uh, were the the sniper dudes, I think. Right? No, no, the, no, no. no. They were the little like alien type deals they look like little miniature different versions of aliens yeah i think they were snipers weren't they wasn't that like they're, they're special they're guns they were all bio uh monsters i don't remember them then was that in the later series because i know they came out with a lot of different versions of those yeah, that's what i played like um oh shoot with the the hive mother and uh uh the terramin cleaned and and the big battle monster that had like four claw arms it was like a tank and then these little spores that would float out from a cannon that would shoot these spore things out then yeah. they, they had the the rats the dwarves the, the i call them elves but they, they called them something else in that game um Eld, eldar right has your then space marines and you had the orcs full man you're full man Orc are awesome because yeah. were, the points for each miniature was so cheap. How do you uh, how do you want to do this? There's two shamans and a scryer plus a pet. You want me bow pull? I'll probably get no. Him. No, no, like he can law him, but I don't know if he's gonna like, get resisted. And um, here's here's the deal. What's the deal? If here? if I fail, we get all three. We, we're probably gonna run. <laughs> um. Get behind this wall. I will get eagles. snare ready. I'm. I'll, if it fails, I'll hit the scryer. At least we can get past him. Uh, you probably don't want to get hit by that scryer at your level. Who's he coming to me? He's even at me. He's red. Yeah, twenty-one. I think. Yeah, twenty-one. He probably he would. Is. Shaman is. Uh, so the, both the shamans are even. Are you? Are you long now? Yeah, yeah but the shamans are are tagged. Well, let me know when um, you want me to pull, or if you're gonna pull, or whatever. I just don't want to. Uh, he's tomorrow. red. I'm trying to get the a target of the pet because we want to root that pet away from us. Uh, it, do we have any mobs on the sides? No, no, no. Everything's clear. Everything's clear. Okay. Yeah, just uh, pull, uh, pull it when you're ready, and I'll snag it off you because I don't want those to unlaw. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna reload the shaman real quick. I guess here we go. Yeah, yeah pull all of them. Oh crap! Okay, how are we doing this? We're gonna root and kill, or uh, run? Uh, we're gonna have to. What run or root, root and kill? I I'm trying to root. Oh my gosh, this pet is gonna kill me. All right, um, we're beating down the shaman really quick. Kill yourself. Run, kill yourself. run. I'm right. dead. Run it, guys. Run it. Dang it. And I'm rooted. This is gonna be bad. And I'm blind. That is a death right there, guys. And I'm root. Oh, I'm dead too. Oh, Holy crap! Man. I'm stuck. So yeah, not not without an enchanter apparently. Mm mm. I don't even think that would have mattered. He's red. He's uh, what we what you gotta understand is not only is he gonna hit you very hard, his pet hits even harder. 
I was, and he does. I was holding my own. I did pretty well right there. If I guess if you hadn't gotten the aggro, we might have been okay. But like, just you know, what would we do? Yeah, right there? It might. It would have been better of me just uh, lulling the two and you try to pull. Or yeah. Oh yeah, baby. Guess where I am. I am in Misty Thicket, my favorite place. <laughs> okay, so Misty Thicket, the reason this is one of my favorite zones right here, guys, is because I got to go through this city right here. And the last time I went through this city, I spent about an hour and a half trying to figure out how to get out of it. And I still don't remember. So... Um, you find the fool's goal. All right, let me zone in. Hopefully you guys can give me a walkthrough on this one, because this, this place... Yeah. Uh, that is guaranteed death. Mm, great run, yeah. yeah it's it's gonna be it's gonna core. be a run. It's gonna be a run. Yeah, through Kithcore. It's probably nighttime. Okay, fools go. Okay, I see the fools guild. Okay, stand in front of the door, but don't go inside. All right. Um, now turn one quarter to your right. All right. Now go in that direction, but hug the fools gold. Until you see the female dwarf, you know, not the dwarf, halfling, merchant, then cut down through there, and you will, that will lead you out to, uh, to, uh, uh, Githcore. Okay, that doesn't make any sense. So, quarter turn to the right, hug the thing until I see the, the female. Until go I past her. Okay, so I see the female. Go past her. Yeah, go down that little alley behind her. Okay, and then turn what right? Go, go straight on. Okay, and when you get down there, you'll see a way you could turn left. And if you see Shaky, the Scarecrow, don't go there. Keep on going past there. I'm going through a door? No. You just <coughs> go Don't go into any doors. I don't think your directions are very good over here. Where the crap am I? And, and you probably went down the wrong alleyway, did it? If there's a, a door on your left and a door straight ahead of you, that's the wrong way. Mm, maybe half a Lord of the Rings movie? Maybe. I might be getting lucky. You said if I see a skeleton or a scarecrow, don't go that way? Yeah, don't go... Don't, if you see His name is Shaky, by the way. If you're not close enough to see it. So I go to the don't next one? Uh, yeah, just go right past there. And then go left at the next now, one. Now, you'll see a little split to the right and a little bit to the left. You want to stay left. Ah, thank God I'm out of the sun. All right, thank you, man. That's, I appreciate that. Uber, go back to the chick. <laughs> uh, you know, not, not my favorite zone. I know most of these zones in this game after all the years that I've been playing. This, however, is the only uh, halfling I have ever made. And that's the only character that really ever came over here. I never played a druid. So I never kind of came over here for that reason, and Kith is not a zone that you spend a lot of time in, unfortunately. Like, I, I would love to be able to, to spend more time over here, but you just, you really don't. Where? What about the rest of you guys? Uh, what about you, Cypher? Where are you spawning? Um, I, I was bound right outside. Oh, okay. Let me give you consent, if you think you can get back to Oh, there. no. Consent, uh, his, or Ian, he already said he's pulling. Yeah. Kith scares me. Kith was a lot more dangerous on yeah. uh, Classic EverQuest. Is it me, or did it seem like on live they would go up the side of the hill a little bit more than they do on B99? They would they definitely, did. definitely go up the side of the hill a lot more than they do on this one. Especially the dogs. And it was darker. But yeah, Way the, darker. And they, you can't hide from them. Yep. Yeah, I just gave, uh, I just gave Wolf consent on that one thank you for dragging by the way man i appreciate it but yeah so much more so much dark all right i think they talked about trying to make it that way once and they decided against it somehow i don't i don't know if it was every zone would be darker to ways that it wasn't classic or or how that was going to work out but uh, i don't think it's going to be a thing for quite some time but definitely it it made the game different people would sit at the zone line 
waiting for Nightfall to be done with. And it was kind of like a buff party. You know, Cleric sitting there waiting. He'd see people there. He'd buff you up. And same thing with Druid. So everybody would run together as soon as the daylight came. And for people who had never been there before, they could follow somebody else. So it actually, you'd make friends. You'd be like, where are you going? And be like, oh, I'm running over here to do this quest. And before long, you had a, a group going on just to um, just to get where you were going, which normally you might be 30 seconds behind the other guy and never see him. days <laughs> yeah. you know i mean they did so many things right in this game i have to yeah, give him credit sorry. for it what's up man? sorry i gave it so to him can... oh you did you yeah he said he didn't get anybody else's so you have to make another trip for ruhog and buttons so i think i gave it to him let me see h i s s a r i n yeah i gave it to him uh, sorry for the language. I remember that. Nah, you're right, man. But yeah, it's uh, they did so many things right with this game that other MMOs never really did. I think somebody even mentioned, do we play any other MMOs out there? Uh, pretty much everybody here has played another MMO of some kind. Uh, Dark Ages of Camelot, uh, EverQuest 2. Me and Cypher mm -hmm. did EverQuest 2 videos together. Um, I played Star Trek Online, Lord of the Rings... Let's see what else. Neverwinter Nights. Never. Yeah, I think it's what Neverwinter Nights is what it was called. Or I think that might be just something else. Neverwinter is the name of the game. It was a it was, it was a Dungeons and Dragons type of game. Yeah. For online. Not realm setting. Um. You could run into Driss Del Yurden. Dark Ages. I said. Uh, Aeon. Uh, Star Wars. <laughs> I'm going through all these, making myself sound like a. Uh, an addicted gamer, but you know, like I said, no sleep at night. You got to do something. Oh, okay, now that makes more sense. EverQuest is what I always came back to, though. Like it was just any Asian MMOs. Yeah, I just played one Black, Black Hearts, Black Flag, Black, Black Pirate. I don't know, man. What was the name of that one? I only did a little bit into it, but it was definitely a, an Asian one. I haven't tried the Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy is on my list of MMOs to do. I actually, uh, another YouTuber that I did videos with. Um, uh, Luminary Zion, she wanted to do Final Fantasy. Our schedule's never really linked up because she's in uh, Japan, and when she gets to play, I'm usually doing stuff, and when I want to play, she's usually doing stuff, and she's a teacher, so she has to kind of have to deal with all that stuff first, but you guys can check her out on YouTube. She's big into teaching people about diabetes because she has it as well, and how to survive in Japan with it because her healthcare system over there is different than it is over here, a little bit harder to uh, maintain that. But, uh, yeah, Black Desert. I think it is Black Desert. Black Desert, there you go. And I did four or five videos for that. I made my guy look like the Insane Clown Posse because I could. <laughs> you know, like the customization in that character. You could put makeup on him, uh, eyeliner, like whatever you wanted to do to such a degree that you don't see in very, in very much MMOs was amazing. The only thing I would say in that game that I would have changed without really exploring the, the amount of depth that that game clearly had was that I would love to see an MMO where you could see that kind of detail more. Because I put the face on him, and then when you're actually in the game, you're zoomed out, you're pretty far off, and like I never really got to see anybody else's face. I don't know how you would do it other than to make things bigger. Like make your character model bigger, uh, make the world around you seem uh, much bigger than you are, to the point where you could actually have like a conversation with somebody in front of their face, almost like The Sims. But uh, yeah, there's a lot of, a lot of things that you can do with MMOs, and I like them all. I like them all, guys. Uh, it's just you have to decide where you're going to be spending most of your time. Uh, Cipher, you still playing on on the Dark Ages of Camelot emulated server or no? No, I haven't. I haven't played lately. I haven't. I mean, played. I mean if I get time to play, uh, I'd me try and to get get to raids and also level this character whenever I can. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of the same with me. I've been sick lately and doing all the other video games that I do. And a lot of them have become dailies now. Like, it used to be just, like, some of them I do Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, or Thursdays, uh, Tuesday, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Uh, but, you know, you guys decide what I do. You guys will leave comments, hit likes, and if you guys ask for more of a certain series, I will play more of that series because I, I don't play a game that I don't enjoy. So every game you guys see on my channel are games that I enjoy personally myself. And it's just, where do I put my time? Where, where, what videos do I do more? 
And so you guys have asked for more of some of these. So I'm doing like four dailies now rather than just the two or three that I used to do. And that kind of eats into other games. EverQuest, though, is is the staple. You know, I, I love this game. I grew up playing this game and will probably always be on my channel in some way, shape, or form. And you guys recently asked for more Twitch, which is why I'm on here lately doing more Twitch for you guys. Now, the videos that we shoot while we're here will be the dailies for YouTube. So if you miss a uh, Twitch stream, I'm not going to be uploading those for like five hour streams, you know, that, that you could do. I'm going to be splitting those up into about 30 to 45 minute long episodes. So you'll be able to go back and watch those and hopefully you will enjoy, uh, you know, seeing what you might have missed or, you know, seeing what we got up to before you got there. Uh, I, I watch Super Bits and Bob and I know sometimes uh, because he's in England, he logs on super early for me and uh, I don't always able to, to get the notification when he comes on and I'm not always there to be able to see it. So I like it when I can go back and watch it. And I think he does the same thing. He'll like move it over there and you can watch it after the fact. Uh, pretty complicated and deep with trading. It was super complicated as you started getting deeper into it, but very easy to pick up and play. Like it wasn't as daunting as um, EVE Online. Like that, holy crap guys. I don't know if you've ever played that that space game, but if you don't know what, if you haven't, if you haven't watched a gazillion videos and you haven't read the... 10,000 page instruction manual on how to play that game, you're going to be completely lost because I was. And I've played a lot of MMOs. Most of them I can pick up and, and learn at some degree. And about 30 hours into that game, I still had absolutely no clue what I was doing for like the grand scheme of things. Uh, I was turned off by the classes being locked to certain genders. I didn't even realize that. Um, it did seem like some of them were females and some of them were males, but I thought when you got into them, you'd be able to change it, so that kind of sucks. Uh, character customization being very Asian, like adult women looking like uh, girls, plus the outfits just make me feel weird. Hey, you know, it's a different style. Same thing with uh, EverQuest. You know, like, you gotta find... I think that's the thing about MMOs. You gotta find the one that is in the right genre for you and the right look for you. And once you do, that's where you're gonna stay for a long period of time. I've played a couple of them uh, Asian games. My, one of my favorite was the one called Thang Online, T H A N G, mm -hmm. and it was based on it's a you got three classes, and you would it's armor upgrading uh, abilities, and you go out and fight, and you can do PvP if you want. What about you, Saif? You play uh, any like uh, Asian or? Uh... Kind of. No, actually, I um, I make sure to click past them whenever I'm uh, going through um, through Steam because I have it set up so that it will give me a, um, a list of games that would be available for me and things that I might like, and it always puts just the crazy stuff. So I just have it automatically skip. Because I, I can't stand those games. Oh, okay. You sure? I mean, I'm a fan of Final Fantasy, don't get me wrong. Have you guys ever played Wizards 101? No. Wizards 101, the old uh, mud base game? No, 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 no. It's, no. it's a video game, and, it's, and you duel. But you in, in the game, you throw cards, right? And the card dictates the monster. Kind of like a Pokemon sort of thing. I don't think I've ever played that one. It's based for children. Also, I did Pirates of the Caribbean for a while. I actually had a subscription. Big shout out to Ao Wolf for giving me a Spirit of Wolf at the tunnel. I appreciate it, man. It's uh, very, very kind of you. I know that it's, uh, it's late and not a lot of people on, so wish I could give yeah. you something, but I, I don't have any money on me at the moment. Otherwise, I'd give you a little tip for that. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, I played about 20 different MMOs, and yet I have leveled up my Magician to 50 plus in four different versions of EQ1. Again, you know, that that's the thing. You find the one that does it for you. There was one out there, I think it was Secret World or Underworld or something along those lines where Conspiracy Theories was the underlining, you know, uh, genre of what that game was offering. So you had guns you had spells and books and you had like the occult Jesse and Ventura. yeah like any, anything that you had anything to do with conspiracy theories everything everything whether it was from like egyptians to aliens to 
uh, you know, ants to like whatever, like any any weird conspiracy theory you've ever heard of. They moved, they they integrated it into that game, and they did such a good job, from what I heard, about making them mesh together. And that's like that's crazy. That's hard to do. But I never got to play it. I wanted to. I, I contacted the company and I was like, "Hey guys, can I can I review your game? Can I do some let's plays of it?" And they never got back to me. So, oh, hey man. Have we ever played those? Right, uh, Racist games, it was uh, like Redneck Rampage and stuff like that. I did, I did play Redneck Rampage. It was um, almost like a first person shooter, but you had like weapons and the, I think there was a chainsaw. And it reminded me a lot of. Oh man, what was the name? I think I have it right there on my desk. No, it's, it's on the other shelf. It is a Sony, or not a Sony game, a, um, a Sega game. Uh, Zombies Ate My Neighbors, I think is what it was called. And mm. you had to run around. You had to run around the map and collect certain things. You had like lawnmowers that would chop, like weeds down. It's a really old game, but you had like lawnmowers that would chop weeds down. You could put down a, a laughing uh, clown that was like one of those balloons you punch in the face. It goes down, comes back up. It's weighted on the bottom, and you just kind of run around. It was funny. It was one of the very oh, early Toe Jam and Earl. Toe Jam and Earl was kind of one of the the early games out there as well. Okay. The original though, the others and eh, not so much. They got the little skateboard with a rocket on there. Space Ow, Toads awesome. or something. I think Space Toads was another good one. It's like a Double oh, Dragons game. Uh, let's see. Um, yeah, not only other MOs we're playing besides P99 is Final Fantasy. There's some really good ones out there. They just don't hold my attention for very long because I think I got spoiled with EverQuest. Like this is, this is where I found my happiness. But I won't. I won't falter anybody for playing something else. I thank you for that port, by the way, sir. You saved me like 15 minutes. Sir. Sure. Uh, I'm excited for the expansion. Played Final Fantasy. Red Mage Samurai were my favorite jobs. Now they're coming out. Red Mage hype. Re ready to pop back in. Yeah, seriously, hype. You know, they, they got to build it up, man. They got to be excited about the new expansions. I always was when it was com coming out for EverQuest. Uh, I main Dark Knight on Final Fantasy, but Red Mage is going to be cool. Can't believe how well Final Fantasy has come back. Oh. It probably is the second biggest subscription MMO next to WoW. Haven't played it in a while. Game made me... Made with love and care that doesn't insult its players like WoW does with the dumb down game. You know, I mean, it's it's a different gameplay for sure. WoW... Wow, where did I... Oh, I got Spirit Ghost, right? Yeah, it's, it's a different gameplay. I wouldn't say it's dumbed down, but I would say that it's made so that most people can pick it up and play it. And there's some people out there that, that appreciate that type of gameplay because you're able to log in. You got 15 minutes that day. You can play for 15 minutes. Whereas if I have maybe 45 minutes in EverQuest or 45 minutes to spend playing EverQuest, I can't do anything. I, if I can solo with a Necro or something, I might be able to get something done a little bit. If I can find a, a spot that's not taken... But to travel from one zone to another or to a spot, like if we were going to go to High Pass, which we were kind of considering at the beginning of this group, that would take us about 30 minutes or 40 minutes unless we could find a port. So, you know, there's some people out there that like that that ability to play even if they only have a few minutes. And it's just a different style. Just a different, so I won't, I won't compare the two together, but I definitely do enjoy the challenge more than anything else personally. Um, do, 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 can't believe, yeah, the, yeah, and game, love and care, yeah, the, the love and care for a game really shows, uh, I have a level 30 character, but didn't play past the first month because they didn't have red mage, I, think I just ran right by it, didn't I, mm, ability, uh, pruning hurt class completely, wow, well. People are quitting in masses in Legion. Yeah, that was definitely a big thing over it and other things. Is what is I that by Final down. Fantasy 13 online or? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, that Final Fantasy one. Yeah. If you ever want to play it, man, let me know. I, like, I really want to get into that one and try it out, but it's uh, this computer can't handle that game. Yeah, it's kind of complicated. You should try. Uh, can you run it and see for sure? Hmm. You should check out. Uh, can you run it and see for sure? Oh, I know I can't run it. You might be able to lower it, the graphics down on it. Um, I don't. I would not have fun playing that game with lower graphics. I I played it back a long time ago, and I love the graphics of that game. To to lower them down would be would make it not worth playing. 
But guys, I think we're going to go ahead and call the episode here. I, I definitely want to thank all you guys for coming out and, uh, you know, talking with us and just having a good time playing uh, Project 1999. If you have not played this game yet, if you were kind of watching these videos for the very first time, uh, as some of you have left comments on my channel, you know, stating that, uh, you know, it is definitely accessible to you, but it is going to be challenging. So be prepared for the learning curve. Be prepared for a little bit of, uh, you know, time consumption on your part to learn the game. But also be prepared for an amazing community that is open to answering questions. If you have trouble, you know, just ask the zone. If the zone doesn't answer for whatever reason, ask a specific person and you will almost always get an answer back. And they will almost, again, always take you under their wing and help you out, whether it's under gear or, you know, just a tutelage. Uh, Cypher, you said you met somebody on here when you first started and they've been your friend all the way up until now. And that's like years. Yep. So like, just go out there, guys. Be part of that community. Don't be afraid to talk to people. The worst they can do is uh, you know, yell some gibberish at you, and you can ignore it. So um, you know, reach out, touch somebody, be happy, and, and make some friends on here because it's definitely a game worth sharing with people. As always, guys, I'm AC Gamer. I'm here with uh, Cypher Deck. Yep. And uh, we have uh, Bashir. And a, a big shout out goes to Wolf for coming out and joining us tonight. I uh, wish we could stay longer with him because it did take him a little while to get here. So he didn't really get to experience a group for, uh, you know, the greatness that we had going on. But as always, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Until next time. Like and subscribe. Hey guys, and welcome to the disembodied voice of AC Gamer. We are definitely going to be doing a lot more series in the future, but here are a few of them that you guys might find interesting. Of course, you're more than welcome to check them out. I would love to hear your comments. Again, if you do enjoy these videos, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe. It's definitely the indicator that I use to uh, tell if you guys want to see more videos like that of that particular game style of that uh, you know series in the long run so when you guys leave comments down it helps me decide whether we should keep doing it as well as whether you want to see games like that in the future and here are a few of them right here I kind of picked out uh, a few of different genres we will be doing spotlights for other youtubers in the future so if you uh, want to get a little shout out definitely let me know if you group with me uh, chances are you will get a shout out in here eventually. But for now, these are just uh, four series that I have that I feel like uh, could use a little bit more attention and that you guys might actually enjoy as well. Thanks again for watching, guys, and we will definitely catch you all next time.